Mandatory evacuations in Schofield this morning as crews work to get the upper hand on the Benyon Creek fire. Scott McCain is actually there live with a look at their progress so far. Scott, this is a tough one. Yeah, that's uh, putting it mildly. Uh, zero percent containment as of last report. And uh, those mandatory evacuations in the Aspen Cove neighborhood in Schofield, very near the Manti LaSalle National Forest. And uh, you can see uh, the smoke from this fire for miles and miles around. And, you know, this should be the beginning of a nice relaxing weekend for a lot of folks getting out of the reservoir, camping, fishing, hiking, whatever the case may be. But uh, right now you've got a, a whole slew of firefighters here trying to get a handle on all of this. And, uh, oh, we've got a visitor. Uh, <laughs> sorry. And a hummingbird just come up and uh, kind of you know, give us a little indication that uh, things are uh, not normal here. But yeah, it's been a very, very difficult evening. This uh, low pressure, this high wind system that came in yesterday, uh, it took what uh, apparently was a very small fire right from the get-go and quickly had this thing raging, 2,500 acres uh, at last count. And uh, those evacuations going into, into place late yesterday afternoon into the early evening hours. And again, once that dry cold front moved in, well, we spoke with one evacuee who says when that happened, they knew they had to pack up and get out. You're watching the smoke mostly, and as you're trying to pack, there's smoke everywhere. We saw them start to go to other neighbors' homes, and they did come to our home. They're very organized, um, very um, communicative. It was uh, It was very good the way that they were going from door to door, making sure that Anybody that was in the area was going to get evacuated. And now there's no word yet on when folks are going to be able to return. Uh, you know, crews, uh, once they got everyone out, uh, not long after that, you know, the sun went down. And so uh, a lot of the resources pulled. But right now the sun's coming up. Uh, they're probably uh, get, gathering as we speak, trying to get a handle on how they're going to attack this blaze, likely from the air at this point. The winds are calm. They're probably going to try to drop some uh, retardant and some water on these flames. Fortunately, the reservoir is very close by. Another kind of a strange factor, though, here, you know, as most of the state has been broiling under these warm temperatures lately, right now it's literally freezing. It's below zero here. So uh, you've got uh, some crews that are going to be up on the mountain, uh, probably uh, dealing with a little cold for a while. So. It's uh, kind of a strange morning here. The good news is, as far as we understand, uh, as of last report, no injuries. And uh, we're going to get a handle on, uh, you know, how many structures are potentially threatened and how many folks are going to be displaced and for how long a little later on this morning. We're now we're live in Schofield. Scott McCain, Fox 13 News, Utah.